Hi guys, this is Dawn from Creative Appliques. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. I wanted to take a moment to uh, go over something about installing BX fonts in your Brilliant software on a Mac computer. All of the fonts that Creative Appliques sells include uh, punctuation. So sometimes on a Mac, what ends up happening is you purchase a font and you install the BX format in your Brilliant software and you type out a quote like this, a sentence like this, and you do not see the apostrophes the, and the quotes. So the way this sentence is typed out, as you can see over here, she said comma, quotes, that's mine, quotes. And there's also an apostrophe in the contraction for that's. When you come over here and you look, you, there aren't, you cannot see the quotes here before the T. There's no apostrophe for the contraction for that's. And then there's no quotes here at the end of the um, sentence. So this is a setting that is on your Mac. It's not with the Embrilliant software. And most likely, if you, um, you can see that the font will have the punctuation included. And one way you can tell is when you come over here, when you have the, the font selected, okay? So right now we have the Creative Appliques Cupcake Party 1.25 inches. You click on the little I right here, and it will pop up this box and it will say, show you what the available characters are for that font that have been installed in the BX format. So you can see it's all uppercase letters, all lowercase letters, all numbers, and then all these punctuations, of which it includes right here the quotes and then the apostrophe right here. So you know that it was installed um, or those symbols were included with the mapping of the um, BX file. So click on OK. Now what you want to do is you want to come up to the Apple and open System Preferences. So you go to System Preferences and then you want to come to Keyboard. Click on Keyboard and then if it takes you right here you want to you want to click on Text and then what you will see is there is there will be a check mark in this box. Use Smart Quotes and Dashes. You want to uncheck that so the box is blank. Okay, and now when you go back to this, you need to basically reset it. So what I do is I just delete it, delete it, delete it, and then click set. Okay, so it kind of it kind of um, resets it in a way, and then you put the quotes back in and the apostrophe back into where it needs to be and then click set and they're all right there so now you can see the sentence as it should be and punctuated as it should be she said quote that's mine quote and the apostrophe is there with the s i hope this information was helpful for you today if you liked this video please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell there so that you will be notified when we upload new videos Thanks for joining me today and make your life creative.